Ooh, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Ooh, what is Ooh. that? Is that a snail? Turn a little bit more. Right now, I am standing over the heart of Wyoming's Fossil Lake the 18 inch layer of the Green River Formation. We are lucky enough today to have private access into this quarry, which is super exciting because we are gonna find some of the best and most well-preserved fish this formation has to offer and some of the best fish in the entire world. And here she is. Welcome to the 18 inch layer. Now the fish here are often covered in a very thin layer of limestone. So what we have to do is we have to wait until the sun gets to a really low angle and it'll cast a shadow over the raised impression of the fish beneath the limestone. And that's how we're gonna find them. So right now you can't see anything, but if I rotate it just like that, you can now see the shadow on the spine and dorsal fins that the sun is casting. If you look right where my thumb is, you'll see the dorsal spines. And then there's the spine of the fish. Then up right in the middle of the frame, that's where the head is. Once the sun does set, we can use that generator and those lights to cast our own artificial shadow across the fish. And once we do that, all that's left is to scan obsessively until we find plenty of beautiful big fossil fish. Here's a preview of the color that these fossil fish will have. We actually split right on this nydia and it's got them deep blue colors. Really cool. This jaw is wide open, but it's a shame that it didn't split out well. Oh, that's the edge to a big piranha? Mm -hmm. Well, arowana technically. <laughs> so somewhere under here is a big Phariotis testes. Is this the jaw up here? You think this is an encostus? The Scroungy Moose Pizza Company has the best pizza in like the world. It's and pretty it's, good. It's pretty good. Surprisingly <laughs> good for a town of 3,000 people. Tucked away in like a bed and breakfast, hidden behind a bunch of aspen trees. But if you can find it, it's really good pizza. I don't know what to put in them. All right, guys, the sun's down. I'm starting to get all of these stakes in. And as soon as we get the lights on over there, I'll be able to get this piece of limestone up and we'll see if we have any fish beneath it. All right, we got the lights on. Time to get this block up. So all these stakes have popped up this layer and now we're gonna try to wiggle it loose with the shovel slowly. I can feel it coming. It's gonna wanna split right in the middle. Yep, right there. Let's see if we have anything. Oh, that's not great. So we've got what would have been a nice diplo here and then there's a small nydia right here. So that's really a shame. We've got a big fish over here. You can barely see it by the outline of the spine, right? There. I think it's a mayo? Yeah, maybe. But we'll know in not too long, hopefully. Getting a run started is the hardest part. But this one seems like it's gonna come out all right. We had to mash this up in front of us to be able to get to a, a lamination that would play nice. The rock's finally behaving. We should be able to get a few decent fish on this run, hopefully. So we do have a fish right there. So we made sure that all of these different stakes have avoided it. And we'll pop up the rock around it and we'll recover that fish. Oh, we got it. It'll break. And now we're holding it up to the light to see if we have any fish. There's one down right here. So that's somewhere. Here it is. There's a fish down. Other than that, I don't see anything. Neither do I. There's something weird up over there, but it looks like just a wrinkle. That's a wrinkle, yeah. All right, we gotta get all of these and do it again. Yeah, I got the left one. Fishy right there. Risky. Ooh! Is yeah. it all there? Yeah. Sweet! Got a nice one. Ooh, Joe! Joe, Joe, Joe! Nice! Woo! Oh, 
up. Vertebrae are all in line. The head looks pretty good. The tail looks great. That'll be a good fish. Very carefully lay that one out. There's two other fish on right there. Right here. That is nice. I'm gonna wait for you to get that one and you can help me with this one so we don't screw it up. That is gonna be a nice fish. Like I said, the vertebrae are all in line. The head's in great shape. The tail's there. That's awesome. It's all right. We are getting close to being able to pop up another layer. And we're almost done with our second run for tonight. And we'll have to come back tomorrow and do more. We got ourselves a good fish. And there we go, we've got two fish. This one's more apparent, but it's a blown up Diplo. But over here, there's the spine of another Diplo. And we've got the head right here. So that'll look pretty nice when cut out in front. Joe's got the fish frame, but he still has to remove a run beneath it. Then it'll pop off that and it'll be ready to transport out of here. The fish is kind of hard to see. It's not, it's not this thing where you can see the jaw of this fish. It's actually beneath it, it's this. That's its jaw, that's its gill plate, and the vertebrae will be right there underneath this disarticulated fish. One of the other many cool things you can find here are these fossil leaves. <laughs> that's a nice one. Yep. It's really thin and weathered though. Hopefully you can save it. What do you see? Oh, a prisky right there? Yep, spines, head, vertebrae, dorsal, anal spine, giggity. Dang, that is really subtle. I think we have another prisky over here. So this right here, is not just one prisky, there's a second one right there. And there are the dorsal spines. So there are two Prisca camera right here. We've got to do the not so fun part too. A worker I will be. Here we go again. All right. Ooh, nice fish, stroke and a half. Now we make this jaw. There though. What is it? Big Diplo. Woo! Ooh. Ooh, what is Ooh. that? What is that? Is that a stingray? Turn a little bit more. No, 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 no. Where is that? Okay. Where is that? Is that just a wrinkle? That's just a wrinkle. It's just a wrinkle. Dang it. Doesn't widen. That fooled me. We got you good. You just have to keep on driving steels all night. So, oh, what is that? Something blown up. Get out of the way. Hold it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Right here. Oh, that's down. right here. Oh, we got two fishies. Three. Look at that prisky. Woo! Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Woo! All on the same level. Yeah. Hell yeah. That sucks because they're close enough to leave together if they were a little bit better. That would have been a really nice double. There's a negative to our prisky, and it is down somewhere. It's down right here. So that is a really good fish. Unfortunately, these two big fish over here, right there and right there, they're pretty disarticulated, so we might not be able to save them. Oh well. I'm a femoral. I hit Joe with a steak. What's wrong with you? You nicked my femoral. I'm sorry. That's pretty dark. We're gonna pop this up real quick. Oh, we're gonna get that big poop up. Thank you. Anything on it? Ooh. There's a big fish down, heading out this way, right? Oh, it's the tail end of this guy, this blown up guy. Oh. Well, actually, that's blown up. 
It looks decent. It does look decent. It this is it. scattered. But, but that's the a head. skull's in place. I, I was looking at just this, but the, the jaw's in place. And the, the vertebrae still are a nice line. Are nice. Tail's there. There's a fish right there. That's, that's not a bad not plate. That bad. That's yeah. a fish. Cool. Nice. We're going to have to cut that guy out real quick, and then we'll get back to digging. We are getting these steels in. Deep. Get in there. Get in there. Ooh, big fish. Yay. Yes. Now there's the negative. Let's peel this off and see what we're working with. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a good fish, Joe. Nice diplo again. Another nice another, diplo. And look what's right under cover right, right there. Right here, another diplo. It'll be a really nice double diplo plate. Oh yeah. They're both dorsally correct too. Here's that insanely nice diplo. There's the spine. There's the skull. Joe's popping up this Priscacara. And he made it look easy, but that's the most delicate part of finding these fish. Is making sure that you can get these plates up without splitting it in half. So Joe's going around the plate right now and starting a small crack around the whole thing, making sure that the pressure is evenly distributed among the plate before he pops it off. And there you go. Ooh! That's that weathered edge. Fish is still there though. Yeah. This big fishy, we're gonna leave here overnight and then tomorrow the sun will bake it in that little layer down here that we're gonna try to peel it off of. It'll be dehydrated and it'll delaminate a lot better. Ooh, Ooh. Man, that was a good night. Joe's over here trying to remember why he likes the 18 inch. I think tonight reminded him. You drank all the water. Of course I did, I was thirsty. He didn't leave you an ounce. There's more water bottles in the car. Eh, uh, no there's not. <gasps> it is a GoPro, it would have been fine. There better be water in the car. Build it all in <laughs> Joe and I took a quick detour to Fossil Butte National Monument to show you guys what some of these fish will look like prepped. And this is some cool history. We've got Peg Leg Craig right here, one of the first fossil hunters to ever hunt the Green River Formation, at least commercially and full time. So that's really cool. And then that was us. Yeah, they've got a whole lot of really cool fish in here. Why don't your collection look like that, Joe? It does. <laughs> it's just spread out a little bit more. I still can't believe how big some of these soft shell turtles are. That's that, uh, the same one that I got. Oh, the same species, the river turtle, yeah. the Baptimis? Look at how big they get. That one. They do get baby. big. Foot sticking out. Dang. Fossil leaves are some of the coolest fossils to me. Just a single carbonized layer left over after millions of years. I like them. I like them a lot. Get out of the road. And that's, that's where I gotta really accelerate. <laughs> Don't kick my car, get out of the road. Get out of the road. Thank you. You gotta accelerate on that part, not stop for the stupid cow. The one time we try to get up that road and there's actually a cow is when we film. It moved. Joe and I are back at the 18 inch layer for one final night of digging. So wish us luck as we continue to find these cool fossil fish. First lift and we got ourselves a big fish. It's head peeled and it's tail peeled. That's all right. Where's the other fish? Uh, right there. Oh. And we got another little fish right there. Boop. Hello, fishy. Once again, I've got to be really careful around this nice fish over here, which makes working in this area with another nice fish over there a bit difficult, but still worth it. Once Joe starts that saw up over there, though, I'm getting my eviction notice. I'm out. He's gone. Back to work. Joe's standing on that fish right now to make sure it doesn't accidentally pop up or get damaged. 
And I'm gonna go ahead, if I can get underneath the steel, pop this up. Might wanna get one going that way first. Uh -oh. There you go. We haven't found a lot on this run today, but we still have a little bit left that we can be hopeful for. Oh, that's a cool twig. Look at that branch. Oh, cool. Cut that out, maybe. We have a branch right here, and this branch has just been turned into a thin layer of carbon. That's all that's left of it, but that carbon has left a very detailed imprint for this fossil. Joe and I are done for the night. We didn't find much, but that's the way she goes sometimes. We'll come back here tomorrow morning, get our fish, get home, prep them out. We're back in the quarry. We've got three fish that we need to recover before we can get out of here. Whew, that was a stressful fish to get out. out here guys it's work look at all of those fishies it's a lot of fishies not as many as we would hope especially prisca cara yeah we didn't make up with a lot of priskies but Still, 18 inches is always fun, but a ton of work, geez. Each one of these individual plates has at least one fish on it, sometimes two, and at least one of these big plates behind me or to the side of me is gonna prep out really nice when we get home. Big suckers. Diplos mainly. Got some nice fish in there. We got one or two. All right, let's get out of here. Now comes the fun part. We have the rocks packed, but we actually have to drive out of the quarry now. So I'm protecting them with my life. Don't break my rocks. No, that took a while to that cut those so off. That took so long to cut them and to slab up those two fish and then to split them out and pack them up and slab up that other thing. It doesn't sound like that much, but it's- It's a lot of work. Ridiculously time consuming, man. Ooh. It's scary driving down this in the daytime, isn't it? Yeah, this is scary in the daytime. You gotta- wow get a view of what you're going up against, huh? Yep. That's what we're going up against. I'm glad I fixed the brakes. Yeah, no, that's a lot less stressful. Everything's holding up pretty well, though. All right, that's the worst of it. That was the worst part. It is pretty out here, though. A lot prettier going down this in the day. You might have to ride with that, uh, that seat tilted back like that the 2,000 miles from home. Well, it'll be good for my back, right? I don't know about that. Well, that's the worst of it. Yeah, we're done. Smooth sailing from here to Florida, right, Joe? We have safely made it back to Florida, and what I'm about to show you represents an insane amount of time and effort. Joe over here has put in about 70 hours of prep work just into the fish we have right here in front of us. So we have a two foot long Ferriotis and Costas that's similar to a arowana. That one took around a full week to finish, about 40 hours. It's unique in that you've got the intact eye orbital and all the teeth. Not a lot of piranhas have the teeth or arowanas have the skull in this good a shape usually the skull badly disarticulates because it's it's this eye orbital here will get caught and pull the top of the skull away so it's rare to find it intact like that this is a myoplosis or a perch with a little leaf fossil right there this is another little leaf fossil with a prisca cara or similar to a bass i think is what they're closely related to 
this is a big Diplomistus. They're one of the more common fish in the 18 inch layer, especially this size. This is about the most common size with a little Nydia by its tail. And this is a little school of Nydia. They come from a specific mortality layer where there's just dozens of Nydia on some rock sometimes. Oh, and here's a half finished Notagonius. They're one of the rarer fish. This one is dorsally compressed. You can see the bottom of its skull here. And a lot of its body is twisted up and around. So its fins were laying on top of it. I never got around to finishing it just because it's not in that good a shape. In a full summer, maybe a half dozen of these found if you're digging by yourself. Of the Nodos? Yeah, and that's, I think, most I've ever found in a year is two. Two Nodogonias? So full yeah. summer, how many days would that be digging? 30 plus. 30 days? Yeah. Ooh, it's rough so out there. Maybe one of those every couple of weeks if you're digging by yourself. Not many of these either, but you usually expect to find either one of those or one of those big ones a night and numerous small nydia and probably a couple frisca cara a night. What are we missing? Stingrays, garfish, paddlefish, and like aciniops. Well, I have an aciniops in there. Not from the 18. No, no, but I've got more than you do. Hey. There's the Essox, which there's only one of those ever known. I don't think so you're gonna find one of those. Can't really expect to get that. <laughs> oh, the Hypsodus. Not Hypsodus, that's the, the sheep. The Hypsacantha. Hypsacantha? Yeah, it's a rare species of Priscacara. It's like an elongated Priscacara. They only get like yay big. Didn't they recently designate a fat body Priscacara? Yeah, but it's not described. Still not being uh, described? It would have been like a, about yay wide. Before you got to the, the, the Spines. Yeah, the spines would have come up like so, but the body would have been, you know. This gives you an idea of the difference in quality between a split fish fossil and an 18 inch layer fossil. See, this is what I'm talking about with the, uh, the eye orbital just flopping over and kind of pulling the skull apart. Also, these split fish skulls just don't hold together very well. It's also broken into several pieces, but the main difference in quality is these fish are rich in kerogen, it's a kind of natural oil, and these are kerogen depleted uh, limestone. This is more of a kerogen rich limestone. So that's why you have a lot better preservation and larger plates is just a result of carbonization. It's a different, different fossilization process involving a lot more organic material. These got up to three feet long, but above two feet, it gets pretty rare. And also above two feet, the heads are all disarticulated. Like I said before, the eye orbital will get caught by some little minor current and just pull the skull apart. Seems to be what happens. It's a big fish, dude. So this is about the largest size you would expect to find in this quality. And it's right at two feet. It's like 23 and a half inches. It's about the nicest, it's the nicest prana I've ever found. Uh, I found one bigger... Arowana? Arowana, whatever. We call them piranhas at the quarry. I found one bigger, but its skull was disarticulated, and I didn't get to keep it. Um, because the quarry owner was going to prep the skull plate out and just slap it back in where it's supposed to be. They can do that. It's a little, little paleo surgery. The 18-inch quarry is one of my favorite places to fossil hunt but it is an insane amount of work. We are thankful that each of you guys came and joined us on this video. We're gonna do a lot more hunting this year in a lot of different places. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our ventures. And as always guys, keep on digging science. Are you gonna mention that these are for sale? You sell these? Yeah, I sell these. I ain't selling that, but I'll sell these. That one's too nice, you gotta keep it? That one's going up on my wall. <laughs> Someday. <laughs>